those concerns can be addressed. Uh, I think it is appropriate that we act uh, deliberately, but I also think uh, everybody recognizes the urgency here and that we're going to have to move relatively quickly. It gives us the ability to degrade Assad's capabilities. Uh, the key point that I want to emphasize to the American people, uh, the military plan that uh, has been developed by our Joint Chiefs and that uh, I believe is appropriate is proportional, it is limited, it does not involve boots on the ground. This is not Iraq and this is not Afghanistan. This is a limited, proportional step that will send a clear message not only to the Assad regime, but also to uh, other countries that may be interested in testing some of these international norms, uh, that there are consequences. It gives us the ability to degrade Assad's capabilities when it comes to chemical weapons. Uh, it also uh, fits into a broader strategy that we have uh, to make sure that uh, we can bring about over time uh, the kind of strengthening of the opposition and the diplomatic and uh, economic and political pressure required so that uh, ultimately we have a transition uh, that can bring peace and stability not only to Syria but to the region. I am confident that those concerns can be addressed, uh, but I want to emphasize once again uh, what we are envisioning is something limited, it is something proportional, it will degrade Assad's capabilities. At the same time, we have a broader strategy that will allow us to upgrade the capabilities of the opposition, allow Syria uh, ultimately to uh, free itself from uh, the kinds of terrible uh, civil wars and death and activity that we've been seeing on the ground. I want to thank uh, the leaders of both parties for being here today uh, to uh, discuss what is a very serious issue facing the United States.